on YouTube, you naughty gamer here, and welcome everyone to the official first episode of the Pokemon Diamond Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. How are you beautiful people doing? Hope you're having a great day. We last left off on this screen with the Choose My Starter video, and I am so ready to finally begin our journey through Sinnoh, which um, if you've been a part of the United Family for a little while, you know why this means so much to me. One year ago, I did my Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke which was pretty much my first ever big randomizer and I fell in love with it and decided to make the change on my channel and pretty much only pursued Pokemon. We are here one year later and we have so many new people here in the United Family and welcome if you are new. My name is United Gamer. You can call me Dylan and welcome to my channel where we just hang out and play some Pokemon and have some crazy experiences. We are doing this one a little bit different guys. I have four files in the description below of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Now you guys can play and pick which one you'd like. They're all different so we can all have our own adventures and you guys can share with me what's happening in yours. I am so ready to begin this. Uh, let's go ahead and go over our starters. If you guys are super excited for this, for this series, be sure to show that United Family love by smacking that like button. We're going to go ahead and set a like goal for 1,000 likes. I know you guys can do it. We did it in the Pokemon Emerald and I saw a lot of people hyped for this series in the Choose My Star video let's go ahead and go over our starters now I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys you know I was super hyped to get that first episode up I was so ready but this is the biggest blowout I have ever seen my entire life this was no contest between the Pokemon Raikou, the Thunder Pokemon, which the types are random. Uh, Lily, the Lily Pokemon, Sea Lily. And then Longevity Pokemon, Relicanth. Now, you guys pretty, can pretty much guess which one stole the contest in this vote. I'm sorry, guys. We're continuing the United Family tradition and going with a legendary. I'm sorry. It was not even close. I don't even have to give you a full number. You can go in the last episode and look for yourself. It was absolutely no contest. And as I said, this is a completely randomized series. Everything is random. The typing, the evolution, which, you know, obviously he's not going to have a loop. It's a legendary. The gym leaders, the wild encounters, everything is going to be random. So for the first time ever, let's see what our legendary dog's typing is. It's Dragon! Let's go! And we don't have to deal with fairy dis- Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You can't- I can't even- I can't even speak. Like, Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, <laughs> Draco Meteor, and Spatial Rend. You know, I've had my OP starts in series, but, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think this is definitely gonna take the cake. This has to be our most OP start. Let's start off with the Draco Meteor from Raikou. <laughs> I really cannot believe that. I did not know it's gonna be dragon type. You can't really set it, you know, each Pokemon if you can. I don't know how. I don't know what Relicanth is, and I don't know what Lilip is, but I guess, you know, our rival Brooks here is gonna have it. Um But alright, there we go. <laughs> you know, common question of the day, guys. You're gonna have one of these each and every episode. If you're not if you're new to the channel, you're you know, you don't know this. But if you're not new to the channel, you know how it goes. If you answer the comment question, you have your chance to be nicknamed a Pokemon on our journey. I randomly pick in every single episode. Every time we catch a Pokemon, simply enough, I always ask us in part one, just in case we do have some new viewers, when and where did you find my channel? What video was it and when did you find it? Alright. So we have our <laughs> Dragon Type Raikou here. I am in disbelief, which, uh, you know, I've had Giratina, I've had Tapu Koko, I've had Zygarde. But nevertheless, guys, you gotta understand, Giratina died three times, I think, because of the extreme randomizers and the uh, United Bonus Rounds, which I will go over in just a second, just in case you are new, because that probably made no sense. The first thing I'm gonna go over, guys, before we go any further, is the extreme randomizer and the Nuzlocke rules. If you happen to not know what a Nuzlocke is or the extreme randomizer settings, check the description below. You can find out all that. But simply enough, you can only catch the first encounter per route. If a Pokemon dies or faints, it's considered dead, and you have to release it or put it in a dead box, and you have to nickname every single single Pokemon, which I just discussed with you that I'm going to nickname it after you guys. Uh, the only Pokemon that I name is my starter Pokemon. So that's that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know about this series. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below or Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, all at UnitedGamer101. 
Oh, that's, that's always a mouthful to explain in the beginning of every series. I'm so excited to be doing this right now. And I cannot believe our start. This is definitely the most insane start I've had in every series. And it made me so excited that so many people were ready for this series. Like, everyone was excited about it. And that makes me so happy. Hold on, can I... No, no, no. Can I... Nope, not the wrong button. Can I check what he is? Uh, I know he's a dragon, but is he solo dragon? He is a solo dragon type Raikou. <laughs> Has own tempo. That's not bad. I hate being confused. And an excellent moveset. So honestly, he is set for this entire game, really. Honestly, there's nothing we need to change about him. He doesn't need to learn any moves. I'm sorry, guys, but we're going to have an OP start here. Like, there could be something to destroy us. You never know. All right, Rowan. What are you doing? Hey, is that is those people? Are you old guys staring at us? Yes, yes, he is. All right. Hmm. I heard from Don that you use our Pokemon. Let me see this, please. Hmm. Raikou and Turtwig. All right, so you got Turtwig. And not really, it's random. All right, maybe it wasn't for him for some reason. I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. All right, well, uh... Um, yes, Professor, please wait for me. Yet again, I don't know why I decided to go with an accent for her. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. It's probably really awful, and I'm sorry to, you know, upset all of you people out there. I mean, if he was, you know, angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever, and he didn't even want their Pokemon back. Dylan, we should go home, too. All right, well, I want my running shoes really, really bad. Um, also, the thing I really need to explain before we actually get into our adventure, the Nuzlocke rules do not actually start until we have Pokeballs, and we have these things called United Bonus Rounds. Now, this is something I tried to do to, you know, mix it up a little bit, involve you guys a little bit more. Uh, I know everyone in the United Family already knows about it, so I'm not going to take a lot of time on it. But simply enough, all it is is once per episode, you're going to have this random United bonus round where I'm going to play you guys a Pokemon cry. Ten of you must get it correct in the comment section below, and if you do, you will send me either a challenge or a bonus that will be randomized in the upcoming episode. So... Uh, all you need to do to see what all the bonus and challenges are is are in the description below It'll make more sense when we actually move on in the series and have these on a bonus rounds The professor mentioned that he most likely professor Rowan of Sanjo town I've heard that he was well known for his po studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating Dylan, I think you should visit him in Sanjo town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon Don't worry. I'm sure he'll understand Oh, I know, Dylan. Put these on. Thank you so much, Mother. Being so helpful, unlike some other gems, uh, or gens. First gem, you know. First gen, you always struggle with that, giving me running shoes. After the first gen, that was always frustrating to me every single time that happens. All right, that feels so much better. All right, Brooks, I know you're going to interrupt me somewhere. Actually, no, you're not. Let's go ahead and see what we can get over here. What do we got here? A drink! <laughs> Yes, I'm loving this star already. I'm feeling so confident right now. Oh, baby, you know, I'm doing the hack Pokemon Uranium. So uh, it feels good to actually have a little bit of luck in the beginning, you know, um, as I'm not very effective again. Wow, that did no damage at all. Bye, okay. So we're not invincible, as you can tell. We literally didn't even do a third of his health, even though we're legendary. So... You gotta always remember that. All right, let's keep running through. I love Heart Gold and Soul Silver. How you don't have to press it. I wish we could do that right now. All right, I need to talk to Rowan, but no, Don. No, I need to. I want to heal up Raikou first before we go on any further. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Oh, thank you. This is it. Our, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Brooks is always getting in the way of everything. Typical, typical. What the? Oh, it's you, Dylan. That old guy, he's not scary. He's just a to or he's totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Dylan. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow. What, what was that? Yeah, that's about right. What was that? Not who is that. What was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. All right, Professor. Please don't yell at me. I'm sorry I had to take your legendary. It's, it's all, you know, due to the United Family. I, I'm sorry. I hate that about it. Finally, you've come. Dylan was it. Let's see what's your Pokemon again. Well, well, you made your Pokemon evolve already. All righty then. I'll give that Raikou to you and get a gift. Now that it is yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Well, uh, yes, I, I definitely would. You know, it's part of the rules here. But like I said, this is um, mind and name. It's the only g name that I will name something in the entire game unless I get a Lucario, which if you're new to the channel, that is pretty much the mascot of my channel. He always shows up somehow. We'll see if he does in this series, but um. A Raikou, normally electric type, but you're a dragon and you're a dog. What is fitting for you? 
I have to go with this. I have to go with this. You can pretty much see, I always kind of go after, you know, after um, an anime name. I always tend to do that. But you can see the fairy tale poster in the background. How perfect is this name for it? I'm so glad I came up with this. Um, but I'm going to have to go with Loxus. If you watch fairy tale, you know this is a perfect name because he's like, you know, he uses electric type moves and stuff, you know, magic. And he is a he's a he's a made dragon slayer. So we're electric type, and we're not electric type. We're electric type Pokemon, but we're dragon type. So we are perfect to name him Loxus. Loxus, welcome to the team. That is why I like to trust you with Raikou. I'm so glad that you're kind towards your Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Uh, I just can't say it. <laughs> Beat me, silly. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want to give or do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in their Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect these data using a Pokedex. This is why I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Oh, well, you know, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> Good answer. I appreciate that so much. Let me get on my journey. I'm ready to get going. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every Pokemon or kind of Pokemon you encounter. Dylan, I ask that you go everywhere and meet to every kind of Pokemon in this region. And it's random, too. I've got this one, too. When you walked up the Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60... Wait, was that is that Dawn speaking still? I've lived for 60 years now. Even now, I get thrilled. I'm with the Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in the world. That means that there are many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! I think that's actually Rowan talking, so I messed that up. It was definitely Rowan talking. I swear I said, um, Dawn. That Pokemon I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen a Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but uh, you have a legendary anyway. I'm Dawn. I also helped the professor with, um, Paige. I don't know why she just locks her accent. Maybe she was faking it all along. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just had a little head starter, that's all. I'll be helping to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Dylan. Yeah, she's been obviously faking her accent. That's why, ba that's why it's so bad. She's definitely not British, if that's even what it is. Whew, man, I'm ready. I want to get some encounters in this episode. I always just start sweating in the first episode because I get so excited. Okay, follow me, please. All right, Don. I don't really care. I, I, this red roof is a Pokemon Center. You don't say, Don. You don't say it. Well, thank you for letting me know. We can't always sell at the Pokemon Center because, you know, those United Bunchrons come into action. And then Deborah gets awful mad at us. We're, you know, Nurse Joy. Deborah's in uh, Pokemon Uranium, which we're doing. And we can't heal our Pokemon. I can't wait to get those United Bonus Rounds ready. I'm just really just thrilled. And I, I'm glad to know you guys are on board with me in the hype train right now. You may need to go that far. I think you should tell someone or let someone know. You know what? I'm just going to speed this up. Just get on out of here, Don. I'm sorry. I, I love you and all, but uh, I'm ready to go. And we actually have to go up here and let her do the tutorial for us, don't we? Yep, there she is. All right, Don. Let's get this out of the way. This is actually where Alex all began. You know, I don't know how many new people are finding me on this channel or this video, which it's really cool. Oh, we got to talk to our mom again. That's right. Which is really cool if you are finding me in this video. And if you are, just make sure you let me know because I would like to formally thank you. But I imagine most people watching this video have been a part of the United Family for a while. And uh, that route right there is actually where it all began with Lucario. We caught our very first Riolu, and I named him Alex right there in my first big Nuzlocke one year ago. That is insane to say. And we're here a year later, and Alex keeps on showing up. Mom, I'm going on a big adventure. I just made dinner. Thank you. You know, he actually needed healing from that Drapion. What's up, Dylan? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your bag. Oh, I know, Dylan. I've got something that you'll find useful. I appreciate it. I really need it in the new diary. Mine's been messing up, you know. That's a journal. It keeps a record of all your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You'll have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Dylan, I'll be all right by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. Where's your, where's dad? Where is dad? Why does the Pokemon game and Game Freak always make guys or men look bad? We never have fathers. Even in Hoenn, we have a father, but he abandons us to go be a trainer. I would never do that. <sighs> that boy shouted about going on adventure and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. At least I wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Dylan will deliver to him. Won't you, Dylan? Yes, of course I will, Mom. I will gladly do this. Parcel, I'll, I'll take it to him right away. As soon as I get done with my encounters. I still don't have Pokeballs yet. 
So we are not really near having encounters yet, but I definitely want to catch some Pokemon in this episode. I am going to do my best to bring you guys daily videos of this series, so make sure to check those sub boxes around like 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's around when I try to upload, unless it's the weekend, maybe a little earlier. A Mantine? Okay, not bad. I need to train as much as I, I love Raikou and stuff, and he's good. I need to train him though. There we go. That's some good experience. Like I said, none of these actually matter until we have Pokeballs, which we don't yet. So none of these are our actual encounters, but we're kind of seeing what we can catch here. I want that Drapion because I imagine it's like, it's probably actually like Steel type, which uh, Steel type Drapion sounds pretty nice. All right, let's keep heading forward. I, I would love it so bad if we could get Lucario right here. We need Lucario because, you know, evolutions are randomized. So we can't really catch uh, Riolu because it might go to something else. And I always like trying to figure out what his typing is going to be. We haven't really had Alex as a good typing, though. Oh, that's right. Dylan, I have to show you how to catch Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So you just watch me, okay? What are you going to catch, Don? I'm believing in you, girl. Okay, that's not... Carvana, that's not the best thing in the world. You know, go go for it. But uh, what do you have? What are you going to have? Okay, you actually have Chimchar. Never mind. I thought you'd be random, too. Chimchar was my first starter in Diamond. I absolutely love this game. He's ghost type. That is so awesome. But I absolutely love Diamond and Pearl. I remember, you know, you guys know I started kind of late with Pokemon for my age. I started, I think, in fourth grade with Pokemon Ruby. And I still remember this game coming out and playing it non-stop. I played this game so much. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I would always pretend I was a Pokemon trainer. I was a really weird kid, to be honest. Why do you think I'm talking to myself right now while I play Pokemon? So, I was a pretty weird kid. And she actually paralyzed him, too. She's being smart. Okay, Don, you are wasting my time. We're going to speed that up. But uh, yeah, I, I love Diamond. I love the Sinnoh region. It's probably like top two favorite Pokemon game of all time or favorite Pokemon region of all time is Sinnoh and Hoenn. And then probably, you know, we got Kanto. Got to go with first gen. I love first gen. And um, I'm not going to go with my entire order. Maybe I'll make a top, you know, five or whatever it is one day. All right, Don, we have our Pokeballs. The Nuzlocke has officially started. This is the perfect time to go ahead and have today's very first United Bonus round! Welcome to the United Bonus Round. Now, answer the following Pokemon to cry correctly to send United Gamer a challenge or a bonus in an upcoming episode. Ten of you must get this correct to complete this bonus round. Let's get back into the video. Alright, so hopefully you got that correct. I'm probably gonna start it off pretty easy. Uh, let's go ahead and have our very first encounter. What do we got? All right, it'll it'll evolve. It'll evolve level two Nidoran. I don't think I can hurt this thing. I'm gonna be flat out honest. Okay, it shook twice. Okay, not bad. I don't think I can hurt it though. There we go, doesn't matter. Our first catch is a Nidoran. It will evolve. What, what type are you though? That's what I really wanna know. You're a poison. You're actually poison. Okay, well, we know types are random. So if somehow you kept your same typing, I, I really don't know that. I will be right back, guys, to nickname one of you after this Pokemon. The Twig, you said Raikou. So we're going to go ahead and name this guy Twig. It would be so hard for me to go through the comments right now and try to find somebody that said Relicanth or um, Lilip. If you said Lilip, you're straight mean because that Pokemon is so hard to evolve because it evolves so late. But uh, we caught a Nidoran. All right, what else could we have had here? We know we could have Carvon. Porygon 2 would have been really good. Not even going to lie. That would have been awesome. And uh, Crawdont, okay, also been pretty good. I like the Pokemon. Uh, we still have a route below, too, so that's basically the only two main routes you have in the beginning. <laughs> this is what I would have wanted right here. I, I, I use him a lot, so maybe I shouldn't have. What does he have? He has download. That is awesome for him. All right, so if we ever run into Arcanine, I absolutely want him. He has Dragon Dance, too. This guy is a beast. We're not super effect. Oh, we are. He's a dragon type Arcanine. That sounds amazing. Oh my God. I would have loved to have him. Man, that's so frustrating. That's okay though. You know, I'm okay with Nidoran. He'll evolve into something. So uh, let's go ahead and take a visit to Nurse Joy here and see how she's doing. How you doing, babe? I'm sorry if we upset you later on in this series uh, and have a complicated relationship and can't heal. 
which won't start until around episode four, as I like to get my feet wet in the game, get a little bit started, because I don't think anybody wants this to be a two-part uh, two series. Like, say, I roll a veteran in the next episode, and I can't heal for an entire episode, and, uh, yeah, I end up dying, so nobody wants that. All right, for our encounter up, here it is... A knocked out. Knocked out. Not bad. Not bad. All right. You know, it's potential. I should have probably got some Pokeballs, because I don't think I can really catch a thing with just these. Okay, it's just... It knows... Oh, God. I'm not really affected, but still. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. I was expecting a little bit more from Eruption, because we have his health still fully healed. No, I literally can't hurt him. Maybe... I don't want Twig to die. What do you know, Twig? You're poison type. What do you know? You know Focus Punch? Why do you know... Sp you know Sludge Bomb, though. This Pokemon could be very good, actually. I don't think he'll kill Twig in one hit. I'm hoping not. Don't... There we go. All right, um, Sludge Bomb. Mega Horn. Normal effective. There we go. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. There we go. That was a critical. That's perfect. All right, now we have one more Ultra Ball or one more uh, Pokeball. Not going to do anything to Loxus because he's a beast. Come on, baby. Right here. Clutch moment. Clutch moment. We want I want this knocked out. I want him. One. Two. No! God. All right, guys. Sorry. We're not going to have an encounter right here. That's all right. It's most unfortunate, honestly. It's okay, though. It's okay. What else could we have had over here? I wanted that. That is what I wanted. But okay. It's, we don't have an encounter. We have a lot of routes up ahead, so it's okay. And I'm not really worried about our team, as Loxus is a straight beast out here. I hope I do have some fairy tale fans uh, in the comment section below, so I don't feel like too much of a fool. I know I, know I do, though. You know, I, I always tend to... Um, Name them after animes, which I think I named my Giratina Acnologia yet again from Fairy Tale, um, and Tapu Koko Killua. So you know, and everybody's pretty much uh, known where it's from. So let's go visit the Pokemon real quick, and um, let's see what we can get. I need to get some Pokeballs, as I imagine I'm pretty all right. Nope, that's one of the games where they actually don't give you potions. Wow. All right. Um, we get about five. That's fine. I don't mind spending my money right now. And, um, I guess we'll get seven Pokeballs. We're just gonna go all out right now. We're gonna, gonna be flat out broke and buy one antidote because I don't feel like getting poisoned and not being able to go anywhere. So now we are absolutely broke, but we do have a few trainer battles up ahead. As for speeding up, I'll try to just not speed up too much of the overworld. I'll pretty much just speed up random encounters like this. <laughs> Why do you have to tease me, game? Spatial Rid. But um, I'll try not to speed up too much right here. It's pretty much just uh, the random battles. And uh, I won't speed up like m major battles. What do we got? What do we have? Rotom, all right. That would have been pretty cool to have too. We're just gonna run away though. I don't wanna, I don't know what that thing is. I don't even wanna risk it killing me. All right, let's have our very first battle here because you know, Barry just ran off and didn't wanna battle us. So that's okay. But she does have a battle up ahead, so. All right, nothing too extraordinary. In my Pokemon Platinum, somebody had a Salamence in the beginning, so... Um, Breon, our first fight is against Feign Attacks. All right, super defensive Pokemon, so I am going to go with a Dragon Claw. What type is he? What type is he going to be? Normal effective, that's good, that's good. He's such a, he's just a super bulky Pokemon. He might be Bug. All right, you can use Spiderweb. I'm not really trying to switch out anyway. Um, this is really not too bad for us. This is a, this is gonna be a good bit of experience. I wish we could catch an Umbreon. That would have been awesome. Or any evolution. I'll take any evolution, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. I can't believe we probably got the most OP type right now, though, because you don't have fairies to deal with. So you really just have to worry about other dragon types, which we have a legendary, and ice. And ice will tear us up, but luckily we're solo dragon, and we're not, like, dragon and flying or something. Getting to level up. Nice, Loxus. This game is so slow. No, you literally don't need any moves at all. You know, I don't normally like having legendary starts, um, but I gotta admit, I really didn't want to have Lilip or uh, Relicanth, and I'm not even gonna lie. I, would, I like having regular Pokemon, like if it was like Arcanine or Feraligatr or something, much rather than Azelf. Okay, so Umbreon and now another legendary. Okay, what level is it? Level three. So yeah, we're A-OK. -okay. I probably should heal those. All right, dead. 
as Sandshrew. <laughs> we are so sad. He's too OP in the beginning. It's not going to get hard until the United Bonus Rounds start coming in. Uh, but that always could uh, hurt us because you got to remember one of the be uh, challenges is anti-legendary, which means I couldn't use him for the entire episode, which honestly would hurt me bad right now. Um... I'm kind of scared to do the old switcheroo, but I'm gonna have to do it. I need Trade to get some leveling up done, as I don't want to be only using Loxus. A Primate. Okay, good attack, good speed. What type are you, though? Mirako. All right, um, just Dragon Claw. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I need to get the XP share as soon as possible. Twig gained two levels. Nice. And he already knows Sludge Bomb, so as long as he evolves into a good Pokemon, he's gonna be... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Not even gonna risk it. We're gonna run away with you. Memento, go ahead and kill yourself. Thank you for the free level up on Twig. Good thing about catching like Nidoran and stuff is that um, that you can actually catch it for once and then we get to see what the evolution is going to be and he can level up pretty easily. We got a Dust Ball. First item. Obviously, items are going to be random and TMs and all that fun stuff. Nidoran, uh, we actually could probably get away from you, so let's keep moving north and I need to heal up. What do you want, Don? I gotta go find Brooke somewhere and give him his little backpack. Hi, Dylan. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you feel a lot safer if you want to catch some more. In Jubilee City, there's Trainer School, which, well, you know, Dylan, you should visit because you're pretty stupid when it comes to Pokemon. And Brooks is there. That's definitely a male's British, or not even a British voice, whatever. But, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. And I, once I gave it it's her voice, I, I had to stick with it. All right, let's heal up, everybody. Are, are looking pretty good right now, and we have a route up ahead too, and the cave over there, and then the route to the right, and then another cave. We have so many encounters in the beginning, which is really nice. We can fill up our team really quick. We just got to make sure we don't get too high with Raikou right now, with Loxus, because of him being a legendary, and he can't really hurt anything. Like, he'll automatically kill it. Hey Dylan, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So Dylan, what brings you here, huh? You got something for me. Oh yeah, there we go. Here's a little backpack. Here's a little lunchbox. Score, it's a town map! Just kidding, it's a town map. It's actually a backpack, but I'll take it. Town map, nice. We can see where we're actually going. Well, according to town map, I guess Orbor City is where I should go next. There's a gym there, so it'd be perfect for raising Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. I think it's really interesting how this game, you don't battle your rival so early on in the game. Like, you do, like, right up ahead, but you, you don't, really. Oh, man, I forgot we gotta deal with this. Ho, 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 you know. He's not Santa Claus, Dylan. God, you got yourself a Pokemon trainer, and you have no Pokedex. That is, Pokemon Watch or Pokedex for short. Oh, my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufactured Pokedex. Not only that, I am conducting a Pokedex promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilee City. If you find them, you will get yourself a Pokedex. Well, let's go get quizzed by some creepy freaking clowns that are just hanging out in the city at night. Does the Pokemon growing by defeat? Yes, thank you. I think they're actually all yes, if I'm not mistaken. I wish these could somehow be random. That would be really cool. And <laughs> really honestly difficult, as I'm not the most intelligent person in the world. Sorry if I disappoint you in that case. Ah, yes, I know. Obviously, you're a freaking clown. All right, yep. Yeah, obviously, can hold an item. Say, I want my EXP share. If I could find an EXP share or Lucky Egg early on right now, that would be so fantastic. And the last clown is over here hiding. What do you want? Just like Pokemon types and Moosehead types as well. Yes, they are all yeses, as I said. Let me go get my Pokédex so I can actually just move on and catch some more Pokemon. I have, I have Twig a decent level right now, which is nice because that maybe he can hurt Pokemon and not kill them. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll, I'll use that Pokédex here. One, two, three. Bravo! I say bravo! In return of these coupons, I present you the Poké Watch, or Pokédex for short. Oh, thank you. Now I can know that it's 12 at night right now. That's that's very sweet of you. I can always know the times. You guys can know how late I live. How late I stay up every night. I never get sleep. All right, so it's Route 204. There is a trainer battle right there, but I want to have an encounter. We got Twig out out front. Route 204, what do you have for me? A Scepter! Let's go, baby! Yes! Yes, I'm catching this. I'm catching this. All right, Twig, I need you to live. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try. I'm going to try. No, it didn't even shake. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Twig, you're gonna... Oh, God. Oh, no, because now he's trapped. No! No, 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 that's not good. That's really not good. This isn't good. I'm gonna be stuck in this forever. 
Will o' Wisp. Okay, thank you for missing. Okay, so we know he won't kill us, so I need to get a sludge bomb off. I think he's fire. That's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do anything, does? No, nah, eat it up. There we go. Now the magma storm's gonna hurt us a little bit, but normal effective. Half health? No, this means we only have a certain amount of turns to catch him. Twig, though. I gotta make sure Twig lifts. I gotta make... I, I don't want to lose Twig right now. He knows Blaze Kick, too. All right, perfect. Did it say I was free from the Magma Storm? I think it did. Yes, okay. So I know he can take these hits a lot better. All right, so now he's in the red zone. Here's where it's gonna come in, Cluster Bait, right here. Septile. Stay in the Pokeball. I want you on the team. I want you on the team so bad. Come on. One. Two. Three. Let's go, baby! We have a Septile on the team! I think it's Fire-type! Oh, yes, and it knows Blaze Kick and Magma Storm. That is perfect. It is a solo fire type. Septile, we have Blaziken in disguise because it has Blaze Kick. I will be right back, guys, to nickname one of you after this amazing catch. Ninetane Lunala YouTube, you said choose Raikou. If you name it, name a Pokemon Knight, or if you pick your name, name the Pokemon Knight. So, Septile, you are going to be named Knight. I'm gonna need you to come in clutch for this series. Our team is forming so good. We didn't even lose Twig. We wasted a good bit of potions, but that's okay. It, it's worth it in the end, right? All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Point being made on the poison aspect because that's Septile who I poisoned, and he is one hit from death. So glad I brought that just in case. I can't remember if this game kills it off, but I think it does. I don't think it stops at one. We have a power anklet, okay. All right, not really gonna be using that, but I think it could sell decently, maybe. I don't know. Another Sceptile. Uh, Twig, can you get away? You can't. And now you're... No! No, 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 no! I hate that about Pokemon games! I seriously cannot stand when you get stuck! No, I know I can't escape now. Okay, um... Sludge Bomb. Don't kill it. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. This this is literally awful right now. I'm I'm terrified. I need him to use Will O' Wisp again. I was freed. I was freed. I was freed. Okay. Oh my goodness. I hate when I can't run away from stuff. All right, you're gonna have to die. You're not the real Sceptile. I have the real Sceptile. Twig, buddy. Let's 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 just not let's let's go heal you up and then let's not put you at the front anymore. Let's just not do that. I don't I don't want to lose you this early. You're getting some nice leveling up done. But you obviously can't hang on your own. You can't even run away. But a Sceptile is incredibly fast, so that kind of makes sense. How you doing, Nurse Joy? I'm, I'm visiting again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm annoying you, but I, I have to heal up my Pokemon and we'll be on our way. Oh, man, I cannot believe this start already. This start has had literally been insane. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> a perfect start to, like, the one-year anniversary for my channel doing Pokemon. So... I'm feeling really good right now. I want to keep going a little bit longer. Hope you guys are okay with a little longer episodes. I know most of you want me to do that anyway. Let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. We have Twig. Out. I don't have any potions. Good God, what am I thinking right now? That's okay. I think Raikou can handle it. It is a dang Metapod. So I'm at... No, what if it What if it somehow ground and it was Earthquake? Like, what are the chances? But it could happen. No, but it is Psychic. So I'm so glad I switched. And it has Lock On. That's not going to do anything for me. Twig is learning poison gas. I guess okay. Should we get rid of slack off? The user slacks off for storing its own HP, but uh, up to half of its maximum HP. It's okay, but it's not that great. Poison gas could actually be better if it could actually land, but you know what? I don't really want to teach it poison gas. It's not that great of a move, honestly. If it learned like toxic, yeah, I would take toxic. All right, let's keep moving on. Even though we don't have potions right now, I'm not really worried. A spoink. Uh, let's go over to Loxus. I'm not risking anything being ground type right now. I will train Sceptile, but uh, right now I want to make sure Twig can ha handle his own, you know. Sceptile, once he gets just a few levels, and it, actually Sceptile's holding an item. So I don't know what that is. Uh, he can... We're, we're gonna eat it. We're gonna eat it. It's a Lotad. It's a Lotad. It's a Lotad. Thank God it's a Lotad. Otherwise, that would have been bad. That would have been so bad. If that was a, like, legendary right there, we would have lost Loxus. That's the thing, though. Like, there's always a chance that we could lose a Pokemon. No, no, no. Let me let me see what uh, Subtile's holding, actually. Let's see here. It's holding a a mind plate. Okay, that is l that is so random. Um, but I think um, it is made to where the certain Pokemon will have random items, and uh, we have no more healing items. And I don't feel like going north anymore, really. I think we're pretty much set with how we've had this series start off. We haven't had any deaths. We're you know, really nice. 
This would be the absolute perfect series to make it through the entire game with zero deaths. I've never done it before. I've had two, I think. Um, that's the lowest I've had. And that was my Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, I mean, all in all, this would be the very, very, very best series because it's a one-year anniversary for me. So that would be truly incredible. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode. If you made it through the entire thing, let me know. I really appreciate you watching the entire video. In the next episode, we're going to head east and see what Brooks is up to, have some more rival battles, you know, with him, and then we're going to catch some Pokemon. This is going to be a very fun series, probably one of my best. I absolutely loved my Platinum, even though... It was my very first, you know, it means a lot to me. So I'm ready to go on in this series. Gonna do my best to bring you guys daily videos. If you did enjoy and you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the United family. If you do, make sure to let me know so I can formally thank you and congratulate you on making the best decision of your life. Uh, make sure to check me out on all kinds of social media links like Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All that can be found in the description below. It is all at United Gamer 101 to make it easy on you guys. But as always, everybody, this is not just a channel. It is a family and I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. I'm out!